Hi, it's Aki and welcome to a new series. We're going to play City Skylines 2 because uh, I fancied it, that's right. Um, so I was thinking I'm going to try and make a city that's like in three parts, like a residential, a commercial and and an industrial. So it's going to be in like, like almost like a radiation symbol. So I was thinking I'm going to use this watery pass because it's got a lot of space and we're going to kind of spread out that way, that way and that way. And see how it goes. I'm, um, left hand, no, we'll do all that. Uh, we'll call it, um, yeah, that'll do. We don't really care. We can have probably Jersey. Jersey? Okay, we'll call it that. <laughs> it's a good name for it. Right, so, yeah. So let's have a look at how we're going to do this. So we've got obviously. This is our starting place. So we're going to sort of spray out in three kind of lines, like like that. Yeah, three, like in the thirds. Obviously, this is going to be the middle bit, so it's going to be a little bit messed up to start with. But um, that's fine. We can do the residential zone over here, the commercial zone sort of over here, and then like the industrial zone over here. I have absolutely no idea whether it's going to work or not. But hey, I figured I would go with a theme. So... Let's get building. Uh, obviously, it's going to be a bit of a state to start with, but yeah, that's fine. So obviously, let's put in ourselves some uh, roads. Um, I'm going to try and put it in a straight, uh, like a, an actual, an actual straight road. That would be a novel idea, wouldn't it? Good idea. I put a bit of a straight road. Good work. Right, and then obviously that the cars are going to go in there, but obviously the. The, the whole thing's going to change a bit. So, kind of going to divide it up to start with. Like. So, this will be residential triangle. Like so. Is that going to work? Is it going to be a quad? I've got more. We need to make our triangle more more obtuse that's what we need to do we need a more obtuse triangle you're getting confused by the angles test of Ugg's brain I could use like I could just use uh, maths couldn't I so what is it it'll be like oh I can't be asked to use maths maths is too difficult for me Right. I, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, why am I overcomplicating this? Because you always complicate everything. Good. I. Good point. So that's gonna be. Yeah. Yeah. Oh look at that! The game's even helping me. It's almost understanding what I want to do. Here we go. So this is going to be, uh, this will be like, this will be residential triangle. This will be like, uh, the industrial triangle is going to be over that way. Yeah, industrial triangle. And then, yeah, nice. Right, so let's build a bridge across it. Of course, the bridge isn't, let's try and put a straight bridge in. It's quite important that these bridges actually work. Um, is that no good? You're gonna be, you're gonna be like, no, it's not allowed. So pull it up a little bit. Okay, fine. Okay, and we'll actually we'll put like that, and then we'll. Oh, okay. Can we? Can we get this like looking all right? First task of the game, Ugg tries to build a bridge badly. All right, I think it looks okay. I'll build it straight. Well, it doesn't have to be straight, I suppose. So little, little, little things like things being straight get in the way. Yeah. Right. I mean, the, it's a bit dodgy looking. <laughs> Whatever. That's fine. We've got a big old quadrant there. we got a big old quad. All right. Then we're going to worry about, um, I guess this is going to be, I'm trying to think what it's going to be, what? 
How's this going to be down that way? Yeah, that's fine. Right. Industrial. We may we may have to change this. It might turn into a series of triangles. But <coughs> I don't know. Maybe it won't be that big to start with. We should probably start building houses and, and sub roads and things like that. Right, I'm going to leave. I want like, it to be fairly... Go blimey. All right. I like the way they the auto roundabouts now. If anyone remembers my last series, that the roundabout situation. We don't talk about the roundabout situation. Right, we're going to leave enough of a gap there. Yeah. So we can put sub things in there, but I'm not going to put any. So, yeah. All right. I know what I mean. <coughs> right. We should probably put some fac facilities in there, shouldn't we, as, well? as opposed to not putting any facilities in. Nah. Right, give me a second. Actually, make it straight. I don't know why I'm not fine. The grid lines are very good now. <coughs> very, very good. <coughs> no, but also a bit ill still, which is irritating. It's good that we're building that and it's kind of loads of water there. And that's fine. We can always build bridges across there and, and you know, all that stuff. Right. Now we need to put some water and electricity, electricery in. So we've got to put electricery substation in. Uh, yeah. All right. And then we're going to be incredibly lazy to start with. We're just going to do that and then hook up this. And we can put this grid here and we can suck off of the whatever the um, the main line there is. All right. We'll just we'll just steal the electricity to start with. Right. And then. Obviously, we're going to extend this bit out here because oh, we need to get water as well. But we will extend this out a bit because this is going to be our like commercial zone, or no, not commercial. It's going to be industrial. So a bit of industrial, and I want a bit of space here. Um, I, I suppose it doesn't matter. Nice. And um, we probably want to get this in there and oh, actually put that in there. Right, and we're going to try and leave this this sort of part of the road clear. I don't know if we can D zone. We probably can't have no zones. We can zone like select an area to fill in. So obviously. It's going to make it's going to be easier when we get going easier when we get going so that's going to be commercial that's going to be industrial and or not commercial that's going to be industrial that's going to be residential and over this side it's going to be commercial so i guess um we need to put in some uh, water as well so what have we got here we've got to put in the water pumping station so the water pumps from this way so we want to take the water out here Ugh, that's annoying isn't it Because we want to be dumping water there. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll steal water from this triple tree. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. So water will flow. All right. And then we will. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, we got that right. So we'll just extend this out here. This old road out here. And then we will build a little road to the water. So we can get a water pump in. It's the best, the best uh, design ever. Uh, no? You're not gonna let me do it. What's that? Oh, okay. Right, okay, we can, we can do with that. We'll build a road up to it then, instead of doing it that way. Happy? Happy now! Right, yeah, it wants a road, okay. That's fine. I think it's happy, it's got a road connected to that. Yeah, right. And then we are going to cunningly dump the waste of waste water out of this area. Um, 
I mean, you know, we didn't think about it the way best in the world, but hey. And then we're going to put water pipe over here. I do like the water pipes now. Water pipes follow the road so you don't have to bother. And so does the electricity. So that's really, really handy. Um, right. Uh, yeah, well, that's fine. Right, so let's get some let's get some houses built. Right. So we're not going to... I don't want houses like along these roads because they're going to be the main uh, thrusts of the of the road yeah they're going to be the main thrusts of um the city so i don't really want very much i don't want early anything in there so i'm going to so this is going to be the first sort of like Actually, we're going to probably, I tell you what, let's not overthink it a little too much. Overthink it, Ugg. You've been overthinking all of this. All right. Okay. Right. So there's some houses. The house is going to go in there, and then we worry about... We may, we may demolish these ones later on. This is not a real road. This is this is just a temporary road. It will be gone. We will merge it and make it nicer later on. So industry's over there and now we've got to commercialise it, haven't we? Right. So commercial. We can just build commercial on the Yep, other side here. Nice. it over again I, I, I keep thinking I'd say I'm, I don't want to overthink it but I, I, I got a feeling I don't know what that word means right overthink underthink don't think that's probably for the best now when this goes we'll have to work out a good way of getting more more people into the city because we've got limited Where's that come from? It just like it just magics its way out. Okay, fine. We can always divert this road around the other side as well to get more ingresses into the city, right? And then we need to just put some small roads in, and we kind of got the basic structure. Another letter from our erstwhile listeners. Hmm. What's up, honey? Me and my sister love you. Oh, that's nice. Y'all got clarinets and violins, but you got something most music these days ain't. Oh, let me guess. Lineage traced back to the great Hayden himself? Hmm? Let's see here. Y'all got right. soul. Oh, yeah. Let's build some more stuff. A raison d'etre? Hmm. My right, so that's uh, the commercial, and then we got to put some industry in over here. Funk in his pinky. Hmm. But I told her that ain't funk. That's classical. Yes, indeed. That must be most exacerbated. Classical right. music has been known since the time of the. And then we will. Funk, by contrast, is an entirely modern conceit, and you'll find none of that here. Funk, as they say, is for the lay person. Now, let's hear right. one of those soulful cans. Right, get rid of all that. Nice. Those houses will be gone soon. I've just uh, sorted out my design, basically. Right. Quite sure what the building size is on City Skylines now. Presumably it's six six in. 
Well, maybe. Right. And then we could build some more commercial zones in here. Uh, fill them in. Nice. And then what we got here? Roads. I don't know why we'd want that whole thing to be roads again. So we could just build. Was it six? Ugh. Nice. There we go. Well, we got a whole four people living in our city now. Quarter, quarter an hour in, we got quarter, we got four people living here. <laughs> Seven people now. Amazing, right? Then we got uh, industry to build out here. Um, I do want to put in some crossroads though, like so. That's terrible road. Absolutely awful. Let's not do that. Right. Um, when we get the initial grid in, we'll be kind of all right. What was it? Six. I think that should be it, and then we'll put this in here, 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 that, and then we can just expand that out there, and then, nice, well we've got a whole 24 people living in this immense city of ours, we will make it better soon, right, uh, four, is this four laners? Yeah, four laners. I'm going crazy with the four lanes. Kill. Kind of make it organic looking. That's what you... I'm trying to do anyway. It probably won't be. It'll probably look awful. It'll probably just turn into this dystopian hellscape. What my normal cities normally do, so meh. Right. So people will be coming out of here, drive down this road, and and go to the um go to the shops. Now this road is probably going to be a nightmarish hellscape, but uh, maybe I'll work it out by putting buses and public transport and stuff in there. And we can always put more roads in as well. That the, the, the plan is to have more roads and as soon as we get away from this, this um, water bit, then it'll kind of go, we'll put roads crisscrossing out of this one as well. That That's the idea really. And obviously, we want to sort of build the intersections as well. So we're going to be like, so. And these won't. Yeah. These will link up eventually. Not yet though. And then we can put some more. Commercial in here. Just to remind myself what the hell I'm doing. Okay, right. And we'll just build some more. There. And in here, little commercial zones. Nice. Okay, get rid of that. So how many have we got? We've got 30 people in and we're making, oh wow, we're making like a massive minus amount. Okay, well, these houses are getting filled up now. Oh, pushing the wrong button. 
Right, so let's uh, give it a bit of time. Now we got, now we got um, some time rolling on. Let's get some time going on. Right. Maybe it will be better to do this actually. Well, just smash that road up. I'm just thinking for the future. If we could just take this up one. We'll make the shortest bridge we could possibly can. At least. And then ooh. No. <laughs> Put that in there like so. No. And then bring this down here. Yeah. And then try and join this up somehow using the power of magic. Um, Oh, we, we're a, a, a small village. Uh, of course, we've screwed that up. Well, heroes we are. So I should have read really looking, shouldn't I? The tools are really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the tools are actually super good in this now. They never used to be. They used to be absolute rubbish. But I mean, that's almost all right. It almost looks like a, a road. Oh, brilliant. And that's the vibe we're going for, you see? You'll see the... All right. Oh, excellent. So now we've got some additional stuff. So we need to put some health care and death care in. So we've got to put a little bit of a, a medical clinic. So um, we can just slam that in, like, I don't know, just along here, <coughs> and then no, a cemetery. Um, I'm not really sure where I'm going to put that. I mean, I suppose I could put it in the middle here. It's a pretty nice place to put it in it. Although, no, we probably don't want to put it in there. Right. Um, garbage management. Oh, that's fine. All right. Well, we're going to put, I suppose we could put waste management garbage over here and we can build ourselves a bit of a, bit of a, uh, bit of a dump. Lovely. That's uh, absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then we need to put in, uh, while I'm here, I'm going to build an electric, uh, a small coal power plant as well, which I'm going to put, um, In, in here because at least we got electricery if you're not wired up into the mains uh, all right uh, wires I mean we could put a transformer station in I suppose right next to it and then build some don't overlap e Ha. No? Put that in there. Not gonna do it. Why have you gotta be like this? Uh, can we move you? We can move you a little bit across a little bit. And then we can do that again. Right. Uh, uh okay, it's not enjoying that. <laughs> Give me a second. Right. New plan. Build a road here. No, not a big road, a little road. Out the side here. And then we can get this bad boy, and then we can take it and shift it over here. And then we should be able to build. No, gonna be willful still. 
Okay, new plan. All right, so we're going to build. I reckon I can't build it like direct. No. So can I build it like there? And there? Can I? No. I just waste all my money on this. It's fine. Absolutely fine. Right. Here is that. Right. I, I appreciate that you're not working, but. There we go. Uh, a beautiful construction. <clears throat> right, anyway, that's that's really not what I wanted to do. Right, so now we've got all these houses, right, what we can do is, because we want to densen it up, and we don't want these lovely little nice suburban houses. We want horrible brick houses. So we're going to take all this, and we're going to convert this all to our, like, <laughs> horrible houses. And the, and the people say, no, what are you doing, Hug? Why have you got to be a monster? And I'll be like, shut up. Let's be terrible things happening. You're tuned in to Second Moon, the channel where the classics never grow up. The leader of the city services division is with us in the studio to talk about why they're contracting with outside agencies to provide vital services for our residents. Isn't that going to be costly, Mr. Councilman? Oh, well, quite frankly, yes. It is an additional expense, but the residents have come to expect a certain level of services, and we simply do not have the capacity to provide them within the city. Sounds like we're the ones who will end up paying for it. Should we be worried? I expect the residents would be more distressed if key services became unavailable. Their quality of life is very important to them. But so is their money. We'll be back after this. Talk about the quality of life. Okay, right. So, the, this is um, obviously things aren't going well already, but we've obviously locked down on most of our houses. But we've still got 99 houses. I don't know where everyone's living right now. They're just living in some sort of like ephemeral limbo state. So let's speed things up a bit so we get these houses built. And they'll and there'll be a lot. It'll be there. We go. Here we go. Question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human. Thank you. Hopefully, things will start getting better soon. Although we're, we're still running at a nice loss, but that's fine. You know, the city will, will make a loss. That's, that's the way cities work, isn't it? Yes, it's totally fine. Right. So we get these houses built. It takes a while to build houses, doesn't it? They're not exactly like whipping them out, are they? There we go. The population is slowly going up now. So hopefully, yeah, it's like over a hundred, a hundred and five per, per um. Per what hour? 120 per hour. Here we go. Look, we're, we're cranking up the experience now. Uh, we do need more industry though, so let's put some of that in. I feel like I've been neglecting my industry. All right. There. And I'm gonna put that in there. That out there. And then put in some more roads. I've got, I've, yeah, I've just got to, really just got to put some more stuff in, haven't I? That's really the, the, the strategy, really. Put more. It's very relaxing music we got going on at the moment. Hope you're all relaxing to the music. <coughs> Try and make a gridded howl. Now we can put some more industry. Hmm. 
There we go. That's a little bit more like what I was thinking. Small village. Yay. Um, which means we should put some more things in. We're going to need education and all sorts of things in a bit. But that's okay. Look at that. What's up? Well, we've got no funeral services, have we? Right, let's deal with that. We never did deal with the, um, the, the cemetery. Well, that's fine. I'm going to put a cemetery in, like... And we can always build some more houses. Like people like living next to cemeteries, don't they? They're pretty relaxing places to to live next to. Let's put this in. Whoa. Keep things fairly straight, and, and that's sort of like the way it's going to go. It's not going to be, you know, a perfect dwelling. Yeah. It could probably be a little bit more perfect. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, let's slow things down. Right, uh, it could be a little bit more perfect. We just need to move this across a little bit. There we go. Alright, and then we can do a small road here. And then join it up like that, you see? And we still get all the space we had before, but we just need to, like, you know, chill out a little bit. Uh, and then we need to put some more roads in. Also, we need to move this thing back. I like. Was it never seen a, a bunch of facilities moved around so frequently? It's like yeah, yeah, just move everything around. <coughs> right. <coughs> and then we need to. Nice, and now we're ready to put some more houses in. They want like nice houses. I suppose we could give them nice houses, can't we? Or we could give them medium density housing, row housing. Nah. Give them what they want. They want like low density housing. And then obviously we need to worry about commercial zones. So we will worry about commercial zones. Um, Ooh. Doesn't look that straight, but it, I'm 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 reliably informed that it is by the the tools. So I guess that's um, that's the thing that we can trust. And we're going to put them in like so. Do that. It's a little bit more industrial, or a little bit more commercial. A little bit more industrial is required. Um, right. Is that a two lane? I don't know what sort of road that is. Um, I think that's just a two laner. I don't know, it's like a four laner. Oh, being very generous to my businesses. And we can just do that as well. We are not going to be... Uh, cities, I'm reliably informed, are built uh, scruffy and wrong, apparently. So, um, it fits my style all the way. All, right. all that there. Right, um, and we need some more like low density housing because apparently what the people want is low density housing. So we're going to leave that in. We're going to leave that alone and we're going to put this in. Yeah. There we go. A bunch of low density housing. We've got a cemetery. Should be nice for them. I want people to be able to go through. Uh, I will demolish some like houses and build some bits through there eventually.
Oh my word. Right, this is a state already. So what I need to do is I need to spend some my development. So you get here, you go to this thing, you've got development points. There are roundabouts. So I'm not roundabouts, and then we're gonna build ourselves some fancy smancy roundabouts. And the nice thing about roundabouts in this game is that they are all they automatically do the deed for you. So give me a second. Hopefully this is gonna sort out this particular boggle, make it make the traffic flow a lot nicer. And I don't have to work out what's going on, which is even better. I mean, it's going a little bit slow getting into the place, but I, I think that's because um, we just it, it it was a bit of a backlog, and then we'll just get rid of the backlog because of the roundabout coming in. So, oh, I like the way they sort of like flow along. They're mm, sort of a bit bumpy. Yep, traffic's flowing a lot nicer now. And bear in mind, we can always out-divert traffic from a different route. But I think that's kind of slotted the clog. The cloggage. Nice. Oh, there we go. People walking back and forth. People with, like, packs of dogs. Beautiful. All right, we need more commercial. Fine, we can do more commercial. Um, we can indeed. We just need to... Commercial all this up. Yeah, that's good. Right. Cool. Slow progress. Road is a bit of a mess. Maybe I'll fix that later on. Yeah, I think it's because it's got a bit of a weird angle. So, yeah. Such is the way of things. But hopefully when we get things going a little bit nicer, we can get like an industrial. Yeah, we need to get, uh, we need to be a great town before we can do that. Hopefully it won't take long to sort that out though. But I think with this with this being the start, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the episode. If you have, then join me for a bit more of that. Um, that would be absolutely amazing. Uh, consider liking, subscribing, ringing the bell, doing all that great stuff. It really does help out the channel. It's most appreciated and I'll see you for the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.